Good shot. The Dakar Rally Bivouac is a gearhead's dream, and this is paradise. But what's the difference between a factory team service area and a private team service area? Let's ask a couple of team bosses. Only up to here, because otherwise I have to put proper shoes on there. <laughs> I'm not allowed to wear those shoes. What is the difference between a factory team supporting a driver and a private team? I think it starts with the preparation. Uh, we put lots and lots of hours in there, all cars. They said all the street buggies for us are 100% equal. That is very, very difficult in motorsports to do 100% equal cars. Specialists for every department, starting from fabrication, obviously electronics engineer, chassis engineer, engine engineer, engine mechanic, chassis mechanic. Uh, in our team, we have uh, four mechanics, one engineer per, per car. All the mechanics need to know uh, all the operation of the car. The car basically has one truck for itself, with all the spare parts in there you can use the complete car minimum once or twice during the race. Can a private team still be competitive at Dakar? With a really good car in a private team, it will be possible to fight with the other driver, yes. You also develop a relationship with the mechanic? Of course, you know, the mechanics has to work in your car every day. This is a team effort here. Mini is a factory team and uh, it's, really, it's really nice for us to fight with them. Older and he wants to be a little bit younger with this, you know. <laughs> hey, my name is Kuba. My name is Tom. This is Best Friend Challenge. Dakar version. <laughs> okay. Hurry up, Kuba. Just hang out in the backyard. Nowhere, no, no more money to spend. Making crazy wishes on an evening star. Me and my best friend. <laughs> Me and cops and robbers in the, the back the motto, street. The till together. somebody <laughs> shouted, Boy, it's time to come in. That's how it was when life was so sweet. For me and my best friend. Listen. Sneak in the movie show. Sit in the second row. <laughs> Taking it nice and slow and watching the world pass by. I can't remember being so small. You had to lift me up every time and again. Me and my best friend. I'm sitting in here in the Toyota that could win the rally. What do you think, man? It will be not easy, but uh, I hope we do our job to, to make this uh, happen. Matthew, can you tell us a little bit about your job as the co-driver? And uh, as I point to some things, just tell me what it is and what it does. So, that one there. Okay, so all this is the one of the two GPS uh, we have, given by the organization. And this gives us uh, our cap, so the cap you follow on the piste, and uh, some other information like the speed, like the total distance. And so while you're over here doing all that, what is NASA doing over here? We have here in front of him two small devices, so cap 141 and the speed. This is the only uh, device that Nasir can check that we drive on the good cap and we drive at the good speed. 